I'm Scott Stockdyke, Visual Effects Supervisor on Oz the Great and Powerful. Every scene has its own complexities, but one of the ones that I thought was one of the most interesting fun challenges was when the baboons come and attack Glinda's army. And I think that was such a great combination of work that was done by animators doing the character movement and effects animators doing the magical fog and the interaction of the fur and also lighting. It was such an interesting lighting design um, section and, and our lighting artist just did such a great job designing, like revealing things with silhouette and creeping light around and like shot by shot telling the story. We used Joe Lewis's Encodicam system for onset and the art department and third floor Priva's company had basically created a bunch of initial designs and low res sets and backgrounds. And we passed those to Joe Lewis's Encodicam system and set up so that we basically were tracking the camera real time and doing a real time composite of a motion builder rendered background. So um, it was basically a nice setup and it allowed the director to see what was going on as well as the camera operator to see what was going on. The twister scene was done primarily by Luma as a visual effects vendor and I honestly can't answer and speak to all the technical things that they did for it, but um, I do know that they did render in Arnold and they used their own in-house fluid simulation work. And I do believe that they did their final composites in Nuke. You know, Finley and China Girl were such unique individual uh, constructs, I think China Girl was hard in the sense that animation-wise, it, it was an exercise in restrictions and working within movements that sold as porcelain but were still expressive. In Finley, it was a more interesting thing because it was so based on real-world monkey designs and bird designs, but it wasn't matching any individual thing, so I think it was a harder design challenge because it was kind of pushing it like 10% off of like real animal and that kind of just made it uh, difficult to find that target. What I loved most about working on this film was just the, the people I was able to work with and it's like I, I had this great combination of working with Sam Raimi who I've loved working with before and then working with the great artists at, at Imageworks, who I've loved working with, and um, meeting you know new artists at other companies like Digiscope and Luma, and um, it's just a, you know about the personalities on set. It's like every every show becomes its kind of its own family, and um, the relationships I made on this movie are my favorite. Thank you for your questions and thank you for watching. Uh, it's always appreciated when people listen to what you have to say, so I like that. And um, please check out the DVD and Blu-ray. <laughs>